Journal says it's putting its money where its mouth is when it comes to crime prevention. CBS 17's Justin Moore is live for us tonight. Justin, the city is investing hundreds of thousands of dollars into this community effort. Tell us about it. Yeah, that's right. Essentially, these are small grants uh, for community organizations uh, that are doing positive work in the community uh, to prevent crime and to uh, bring awareness to it. And I spoke to some of those organizers today about it. Here in Fayetteville, for me, I think gun violence is a pandemic. I think that is something that scratches nationwide. Saving our young people from the streets. That's what Demetria Murphy is passionate about. She uses her organization's Youth Diverse Intervention Group and Heal the Bill to do just that. The biggest thing for me is decreasing the amount of youth that go into juvenile detention, increasing the amount that walk across the stage. These are two of more than 30 community organizations receiving a community safety micro grant. The city of Fayetteville is giving out $200,000 total to support ideas, activities, and programs in high crime neighborhoods. Murphy says her focus is on increasing education concerning gun violence. Every year we do a massive event in Festival Park, Hilderville where we honor everyone who's lost their lives to gun violence. Other group representatives like Michael Gales of My Future is Bright is hoping to get our military involved. He's working to get Fort Bragg soldiers into the schools to be mentors for students. Now, other potential projects and ideas include adding security cameras in neighborhoods and also anti-bullying workshops. Now, this was just the first round uh, of the grants. Uh, there will be three more rounds uh, coming in the future. Live in downtown Fayetteville, Justin Moore, CBS 17 News.